Hello my dear students welcome to mathematics class in today's video we are going to learn one more lesson before starting the lesson let me ask you a question suma and veena are two good friends in holidays they started to plant saplings at the end suma planted 210 saplings whereas veena planted 157 saplings now they want to find out how many saplings they have planted all together so how can they find out we know that suma planted 210 saplings whereas Veena planted 157 saplings right now we have to find out all together how many saplings they have planted so what we can do yes we have to add these two numbers we have to add these two numbers Now let us learn how to add these two numbers and find out the answer. So we have these two numbers. First step is to arrange the numbers according to the place value and writing it in vertical order. So we have two hundred ten and one hundred and fifty seven. We have to first write the number. according to the place value we have hundreds place tens place and ones place so which number i have to write under hundreds place here we have to write 2 under hundreds place and 1 under tens place and 0 under ones place right when we consider the second number which number will be in hundreds place yes one we have to write under hundreds place and five under tens place and seven under ones place now we have to add these two numbers so we have to put plus symbol here now let us find out the answer when we are adding the numbers from which place we have to start very good we have to start from ones place so in ones place we have the digit 0 and 7 when we add 0 and 7 what the answer do we get yes you know that if 0 is added to any number the answer is that number itself so 0 plus 7 will get the answer 7 now we have to add the numbers in tens place in tens place we have 1 here and 5 so 1 plus 5 what is the answer do we get exactly we get the answer 6 now let us move to hundreds place here we have 2 and 1 so 2 plus 1 what is the answer correct we got the answer 3 so answer we got is 367 that means all together they have planted 367 saplings and when we add numbers whatever the answer we get for that answer we call as sum so this is the sum when we add numbers answer whatever we get for that we call sum so 367 is the sum of 210 and 157 now let us solve some of the problems so first problem we have here is 546 plus 450 now we have to add these two numbers and have to find out the sum so what is the first step 
yes writing the numbers in vertical order according to their places so let us write so first is hundreds place tens place and ones place when we considered 546 5 should be in which place yes 5 should be in hundreds place and 4 is in tens place and 6 in ones place the next number is 450 where 4 should be in yes 4 should be in hundreds place and 5 in tens place and 0 in ones place we have to add these two numbers so we have to write plus symbol here now let's find out the answer so from which place we have to add is it from hundreds place no we have to start from ones place always addition should start from ones place so here we have 6 and 0 when we add 6 and 0 what is the answer do we get yes very good we get the answer 6 let's move to the tens place here we have 4 and 5 4 plus 5 what is the answer yes 9 now let's move to the hundreds place where we have number 5 and 4 so 5 plus 4 what is the answer do we get in the previous place we had number 4 and 5 right 4 plus 5 we got the answer 9 here we have 5 plus 4 whether it is 4 plus 5 or 5 plus 4 the answer is same so what is the answer we get here exactly we get 9 so sum of 546 and 450 is 996 is it clear very good let's move to the second problem where we have number 856 plus 132 now you know the first step what is that step yes writing the numbers according to the place value in vertical order so hundred tens and ones so eight should be in hundreds place and five in tens place and six in ones place whereas when we considered 132 one should be in hundreds place three should be in tens place and two in ones place let us add these two numbers so from which place we are starting yes we are starting from ones place now in ones place we have six and two so six plus two what is the answer correct six plus two is eight let's move to the tens place we have five plus three so what is the answer five plus three is equal to yes eight now in hundreds place we have eight and one when we add eight plus one what is the answer do we get exactly we get nine so sum of 856 plus 132 is 988 correct yes let's move to the third example where we have 305 plus 84 you know the first step writing the numbers according to the place value in vertical order so we have here three digits right so let us write hundred 
tens and ones. Three hundred and five. So in hundred place, which number we have to write? Yes, three should be in hundreds place and zero in tens place and five is in ones place. The next number we have eighty four, right? Eighty four means we have eight tens and four ones. There is no hundreds, right? So we are not writing any number in hundreds place because we don't have any hundreds here. Only two digits, right? That is eight tens and four ones, correct? So eight is in tens place. That's the reason we have to write eight in the tens place and four. in the ones place is it clear yes let us put plus symbol here so when we add the numbers 5 plus 4 what is the answer do we get yes 5 plus 4 is 9 now 0 plus 8 yes 0 plus 8 is Eight. Now here we have three, and there is no number here, right? So we can write the same number here, or we can consider here as zero. There is no number means we can consider it as zero. So three plus zero is equal to three, or we can write the same number here, three. So sum of three hundred and five plus eighty-four is equal to. Three hundred and eighty-nine. We have fourth problem: one hundred and forty-three plus five hundred and four plus two hundred and forty. Now we have to add these three numbers. So let us write these numbers according to the place. So. Here we have one hundred and forty-three. So one should be in hundreds place, four in tens place, and three in ones place. Next we have five hundred and four. So five is in hundreds place, zero is in tens place, and four is in ones place. And the third number is two hundred and forty, where two in hundreds place, four is in tens place, and zero is in ones place. We have to add to start from ones place. Now here there are three digits. We have to add these three. Three plus four. What is the answer? Yes, three plus four. We will get seven. Now, by adding these two numbers, we will get answer seven. Now we have to do seven plus zero. What is the answer? Yes, answer is seven itself. Clear? We have to add these two numbers first. and whatever the answer we get for that answer we have to add the next number let us move to the tens place here we have 4 0 and 4 now 4 plus 0 answer is yes 4 plus 0 the answer is 4 now again we have 4 right so again 4 plus 4 what is the answer Yes, we get the answer eight. The answer is eight. Let's move to the hundreds place where we have one five two. Now one plus five. What is the answer? Yes, one plus five is equal to six. Correct. Now six plus two. What is the answer? Yes. Eight. So the answer is 
8. When we add these three digits, we will get the answer 8. So, the sum of these three numbers is 887. Clear? Let's move to the fifth problem where we have number 302, 261 and 316. Let us write according to the places. Hundreds, tens and ones. So, 300, 2, 261 and 316. We have written according to the places, right? We have to add now. 2 plus 1. What is the answer we get? Yes. 2 plus 1. 3. Now 3 plus 6. Answer is 9. Let's move to the tens place. 0 plus 6 is 6. Now again 6 plus 1. What is the answer? Yes. 6 plus 1 is 7. Let's move to hundreds place. 3 plus 2. What is the answer? 5. Now 5 plus 3, exactly 8. So sum of these numbers is 879, right? Let's move to the last problem where we have number 274 plus 25 plus 600. Let us write according to the places. Hundreds place. 10's place and 1's place. Now, 2 should be in 100's place, 7 in 10's place and 4 in 1's place. Next, we have 25. Right? So, where we have to write this 25? 2 should be in which place? Very good. 2 should be in 10's place. There is no 100's, right? So, we will leave that place. 2 should be in 10's place and 5 is in 1's place. And the last number is 600 where 6 should be in 100's place, 0 in 10's and another 0 is in 1's place. Let us add these three numbers and find the answer. Now, let's add from 1's place. Here we have 4, 5 and 0. Now, 4 plus 5, what is the answer? Exactly, 9. Now, 9 plus 0, what is the answer? Yes, 9 itself. So, we have to write 9 here. Let's move to the 10's place. Here we have 7, 2 and 0. 7 plus 2. What is the answer? Very good. The answer is 9. Now 9 plus 0. What is the answer? Yes. Again it is 9. Let's move to the hundreds place where we have 2 and 6. There is no number here. So let us add 2 plus 6. So what is the answer? Correct. 2 plus 6 is 8. So, we got the answer 899. I hope you understood this concept of addition. So, here is the exercise for you. You have to add the following numbers. So, write down these questions in your maths notes book and solve it. That's all for today. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you.